Now, one would think that given all the media attention it has attracted in the last two years or so, this quest to build an aircraft, a first in Africa, would have been done by now. Started in a dusty backyard in Intinda on the outskirts of Kampala, this brainchild of Chris Nsamba, the founder of the African Space Research Program, was by any standard ambitious. The tail is the bad thing. But although there has been a halt in the construction of the first plane due to logistical challenges, the project has still registered some progress with the near completion of a smaller aircraft which was non-existent the last time NTV was here in November last year. Rudimentary as it may look, Nsamba says the one-seater may be ready sooner than later. Um, the smaller aircraft you've seen, the small maroon aircraft, um, that one is going to be tested a little bit sooner. Um, I can't be so specific about the dates. Um, definitely the media will get to know when it's tested. Nsamba says that an unfulfilled pledge President Museveni made to their initiative has also greatly hampered its advancement. MPs on the Science and Technology Committee of Parliament, who today visited the program, noted the hurdles it's facing and pledged their support in forwarding them to the House. This committee is going to prepare a report on this particular aircraft project, present it in Parliament, highlighting the key challenges that we have found on the ground, ranging from the presidential pledge towards uh, this project of 140 million, the issue of uh, land for this project, and the question of taxes that uh, they are facing on especially parts that they are importing from outside the country. Ambition here is indeed in no shortage, with the program also harboring plans of developing a space rocket in future. Evidently for Nsamba and his cronies, the sky is the limit.